The First Million Words, Episode 10. Wow, 10 whole episodes. very good. You know, it's like just stuff happens and I knew it was going to happen, but still the whole time I'm like, you know, the only thing that made the movie good was, you know, being able to yell, look out Harry Potter, the woman in black is behind you, duck, shoot a Patronus, and that's, that's it. Oh, okay. And you're like, oh, dude, that's okay. It's, you know, we, we all know that, you know, I read the books, dude. We know that Snape is a good guy. Wait, he's, he's in this, right? Uh, Sure, sure. Yeah. Snape is in every movie, right? Yeah, well, right. Yeah, well, I think Alan Rickman should be in every movie. Alan Rickman. We, I, I think we talk about Alan Rickman too much on this on this show. Have we Have we done that before? We have. Oh wow! Remember you? Uh, it, like a month ago, you couldn't remember his name, and I had to okay. mimic his voice to remember his name. Yeah, yeah, because it's I, like I you can't say, just say Alan Rickman. You have to say Alan, Alan Rickman. Rickman. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. And now no. I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, oh, great movie. Great movie, Die Hard. That was just... It, it was. Yeah. So, uh, May is over and we're in June now. That's weird, right? I'm uh, not, not a fan of June. Yeah, yeah me neither. We'll, we'll, Even we'll, less of a fan of July. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll, August, we'll get into Marvel, that. September we'll get into that. Even... Yeah, September it starts to get a little better. I, I think it's not until October that I really come around, but... Yeah, yeah. So we just finished up all of our episodes with Michael J. Sullivan, author of the Ryura Revelations, um, Theft of Swords, Rise of Empire, and Heir of Navron. Yeah. <laughs> I keep blanking because I just, I just remember all three of them together. Because uh, I read them kind of closely together, uh, which is, I think, how well, you, you should a, read stuff. You did a marathon? Like a... I did, actually. I mean, they were easy to read all the way through like that. Cause I would finish one and I'd be like, Oh, thank God. The second one is already out. And then when I finished the second one, I was like, I have to buy the third one now and read it. Yeah. That's well, that's, that's kind of what I was. Well, that's kind of what I was doing with game of Thrones and all right. Oh, yeah. Song of ice and fire. And, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't and know, you have the Dresden like, files too. Oh, well, dude, I, I, yeah, I did. I did every, I did all the Dresden files. Like, like just, yeah, just one after the other because I couldn't. The audio books, reading. right? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I mean, I, I I read the first book and I was like, oh, this is really cool. I'm like, oh, look, there's, you know, there's this thing called, uh, oh wow, Auda- no, not audacity. That's what we used to record. Audible. The, Audible. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, oh, there's this magical thing called Audible, and you have some, you pay someone to read it to you. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, okay. It feels kind of like I'm, you know, it's kind of dumbing everything down, but. You know, I'm on the road a lot, you know, so why not just pop it in? Um, and then, yeah, it was like one, you know, one audiobook after the other. I'm like, I can't stop listening to it. It was basically because it's an awesome story. And not only that, uh, it's it's James Marsters. Dude. Yeah, dude, who I did not know was American. Yeah, he's American. I, I, Everyone I kept, thought he was British. Yeah, I listened, I listened to the Dresden Files audiobooks, and I'm like, you know, he, he does a really convincing American accent. <laughs> you know, because there's some there's some actors out there. Um, uh, Hugh Laurie, I don't think he. I, I mean, he he has an interesting way to of speaking when he does his American accent, but you can't like you you can't place where he's from or where he's trying to pretend he's from. You know? Yeah. yeah. And um, uh, there's a couple other ones out there that aren't very good, but then there's some that are good, like Helena Bonham Carter. Oh yeah, from yeah, that, yeah when she, I, in Fight Club, yeah. I was like, I'm like, I, I didn't know she was British. Uh, yeah, it was one yeah. of those things. Yeah, exactly. But uh, yeah, I, I was, I was very um, anxious to to read, you know, the second books in the Dresden Files, and uh, I read or I listened to one and two, but I actually have kind of a backlog of books that I need to read or listen to, so I've kind of put you know, my Audible account on hold, uh, which by the way, Audible does not sponsor our show in any way. We're just giving oh, them yeah. free, free lip. Yeah. Um, was... so I, we, we'd, we'd probably prefer that you actually read it or yeah. I don't know, whichever, 
way you know gets the most money to the author. Yeah, I well, whichever guess. way works, and as long as you're like paying for it, because yeah, I really I can't condone you know downloading books or audiobooks or anything. Yeah, that's just mean. yeah. It's it's like okay, if it's a really really bad cheesy seventies movie, okay, you know, I mean, you know, maybe I, I you know I wouldn't recommend it, but if there's no other way to get it, if it's out of print, then then go right for it. But um, if, yeah, if it's the Star Wars holiday special, that's okay yes. to pirate. <laughs> Because I don't think George Lucas wants your money from that. Exactly. Like, like he'll, he'll try to get your money every other way, but he will... I think it was it's something he, he quoted, like he, he would personally track down and burn every copy of it if yeah. he could. And I'm like, no, you can't. This is a piece of history. But that that really makes me want to own a copy of it so that maybe George Lucas would come to my house and burn it. Yeah, then we can, then we can have a conversation. Yeah, and I, no way. I would just record him doing that on my phone and put it on YouTube and be like, how cool is this? But... Anyway, yeah. back to back to the topic. And then I'm like, ah, oh, I tricked yeah. you. That was really episode one. No, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not going to go into that because we're yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, been done to death. Let's not talk about the prequels because yeah, it could have been so much. It's, I, it had, had they that. let me wrote written had they told me okay, this is what we need to do. Guillermo, you write it. It would have been awesome. Yeah, and I think you know I think you could have done it with keeping Jar Jar Binks in there. Just kind of tweak the character a little bit. Yeah, and yeah. I do. Personally, I do enjoy the fact that Jar Jar Binks, spoiler alert, um, is pretty much responsible for the downfall of the, uh, you know, the Senate and yeah, the rise of the Galactic Empire. Yeah, it's pretty much, it's like, it, yeah, yeah, I give my authorization to poetic. create this, yeah, to create this army that's going to destroy freedom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. But anyway, uh, back to the topic we were on uh with the with the audiobooks and everything, I haven't been been able to get to the third and uh, so on and so forth um, of the Dresden Files series um, because I discovered well, you know, I didn't discover it. I discovered it for myself. I uh, you know I know last I think last week I admitted that I had never read Stephen King, uh, yeah. which I, I'm I'm gonna be working on that soon. I, I promise you, I will yes. read some Stephen you King. Must read. Yes. I will. I'll, I'll start with Desperation. Well, it's, um, it's there's probably better ones, but that's... I don't know. For some reason, that's like one of my personal favorites for a reason that okay. I'm not really sure I understand even myself. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it ambiguous like that. I'll, I'll read it, and I'll see how it goes. But um, I also um, stumbled upon a little uh, series of books written by a certain author named Terry Pratchett. Sir Terry Pratchett. Oh, he's been knighted. That's yes. Right. Um, and holy crap, how did I... How did nobody ever tell me about Discworld before? The, I, I just listened to the audiobook for The Color of Magic, uh, which is spelled with a U, you know, because it's British. And holy crap, it, it was the funniest thing I'd ever read, or ever listened to, or ever consumed, pretty much. Oh, okay. It was great. I, I mean... I listen to it at work um, because I have a lot of spare time to just, you know, walk around with earbuds in. Uh, so I was listening to it and I was walking down the hallway of, you know, this retirement community just laughing at myself, you know, laughing alone. And if anybody had seen me or heard me, they would probably think I was, you know, crazy. Well, that's okay. I mean, I think most, well, I I walk by people and I don't realize that they have like a little Bluetooth and I see them oh, like yeah. <laughs> talking to themselves at like the... Uh, at the, um, you know, like the supermarket. Yeah. And the thing is, they're not even having a conversation about the food. They're like having some weird, deep philosophical conversation about something else. And I'm like, <laughs> wait, you, I, no, okay. it's like, no, I, I don't, I don't think have made you, you know, has made you question your existence. I, I uh, honestly, I, I'm going to, I'm going to call you on that. I don't think anybody ever has deep philosophical conversations with a Bluetooth headset. No, no, I've, I've heard, I've heard, you know, one person just, you know, I guess maybe they were, Trying to talk someone down off a ledge oh, or something. So they they were maybe the exception to the rule. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise it's, it's just, like, yeah, yeah, it's just like stupid business talk, or it's like just stupid talk. Oh yeah, it's yeah. like. So did you hear what Tina said? Yeah, it's like, bro, I just I just went to the tanning salon. <laughs> that that was like, the bro, best accent I could do. I just brought, I just, <laughs> I just bought a a box of the honeycomb cereal. And it's like, yeah. I just wanted to tell you that. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you for 
taking time out of your day to call me so that I could take time out of my day yeah. to hear about your choices in in cereal. Yeah, and then, w- and then when you're the one that's standing next to them, like at the 7-Eleven or something, and you you know, try to say something to them, it's like you're the jerk. Exactly. And they're like, sorry, bro, there's a, a, an idiot trying to talk to me. What a douche, you know. And It's like, hey. No, um, you're the douche. I see you just standing here, and there's no one in front of you. Are you in, in line? Yeah. I mean, just, you know, just wondering. Uh, hold on, there's some asshole trying to, you know, like, wait, I, I just, uh. it's like, but then again, if I walk in front of you, then that's going to make you hit me, and I'm tired of having to explain things like that to the police. I'm not a violent man. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, <laughs> now that we've uh we're done discussing our our personal lives, I guess. I have a Bluetooth headset by the way. It's it's a stereo and I just use it for listening to music, but Oh, and also I I have found out that I cannot use my voice dial option when I'm calling you. Oh yeah. Because I have you saved in my phone as Cthulhu and I have a picture of Cthulhu so that when you call me it's like, oh, I'm getting the call of Cthulhu, huh? you know. Oh, okay. But I can't, you know, I can't push the little button and say, call Cthulhu, because it'll call, like, somebody named Sue or something. Oh, and then so. you're like, you're like, so you're like, whoa, what's up, homeboy? And it's like, this is Aunt Sue. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, I, you never call me. I'm like, oh, yeah. sorry, Aunt Sue. It's like, let's talk. Well, I wasn't meaning to call. Yeah. I, I meant to call. Uh, and then you, you can't. There's no easy way to get out of that. Yeah. I actually like, do have an Antsu that I hardly ever call, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. You should... You should oh, app. I should. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and your grandma. For that advice, yes. Yeah. You should call your grandma. Shut up. I call my grandma. Fine. I, I'm like... Because I'm like... Every now and then I'm like... You know, I wonder what sort of ailments my grandmother has this week. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, I, I can't do I'm going to call her because uh, that's... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I can't do that because my, my my grandma, who, whom we uh, affectionately refer to as Mamo, uh, because she didn't want to be called grandma because that made her feel old. Oh, okay. So she's like, call me Mamo. Uh, so we call her Mamo. You know, everybody has like one relative that they, you know, call a, a silly name that they don't want to say around everybody else. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, Gam Gam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is Mamo and, and she's the hypochondriac. Ah, so yeah. I cannot call her and and ask her how she's doing because I'll hear something about how her last bowel movement was horrible or something. So yeah, it's it's kind of like that. I'm like, oh yeah, and you know what? No one has as you know, no one has given me a uh, a, a speech about the fact that I don't go to church enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I I'm, I'm gonna call grandma just for that. Just yeah. I, <laughs> you need that, that uh, motivator. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> otherwise, you would never go. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, <laughs> I mean, I love my grandma. It's just, we, it's, it's always, like, the same conversation. I wish, like, it's different when, like, I'm there and, you know, we talk about, like, the olden days and that's that's fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, especially my grand my grandpa has some crazy stories. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, apparently. <laughs> I, I didn't know most of them, though, because there was a little, you know, a bit of a language barrier, but. Oh, yeah, he doesn't speak English. And, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that was he 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 gave me a quattro that he made himself. Yes. And so I, have, he is I have yet a, to a play craftsman. it. He's yeah. a craftsman. Yeah, he signed it too. It's awesome. But, but yeah, uh, it's I, I listen to him and 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 you know, it, it's 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 cool, but it's like when it's over the phone, it's kind of like, "So, still single?" Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm I'm bad over the phone anyway, and yeah. my dad is too, so like whenever I call my dad, you know, there's always that awkward, "Okay, at the end, when I'm like, uh-huh. oh, okay, yeah, I gotta go. Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Um. Bye. <laughs> I'm hanging up now. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. But the, we're. Yeah. We both. Uh. I. I can't. I can't talk to my dad on the phone. I can't. Uh. I. Because that happens. Yeah. Yeah. And mo- <laughs> most of the time, it's like, yeah, my my conversations tend to be very short because I, most of my day is spent on the phone. Oh yeah. With yeah. With customers. Usually yeah. fairly negative interactions, which mm-hmm. is cool because I may not have a job next week because I kind of, in so many words, told someone to go F themselves. Oh, really? Uh, a customer. And um, I'm just hoping no one hears that. So, uh, Well, I, uh, didn't they just change the policy where they record all the calls now? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. I mean, if they complain, then, yeah, I'm kind of screwed. So, Ooh, get, 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 now I'm interested. T- tell, me, tell me what happened. Oh, no. It's just... just um, you know, 
well, being you, general. You had that. You had that situation where it's like there's three people on the phones because uh, someone decided to have a meeting and then not yeah. include uh-huh. you. Yes, yes. So that means that you're getting all the calls. But the thing is, there's, you know, it's the kind of the only time you, you get a lot of calls is when someone's power's out. Well, this person's power was out for quite a while. And, um, well, it's like you don't get, you know, you're kind of waiting for the information that you get from the crew. There's not a way to get it from them. You can't yeah, be requested. Yeah. So you just have to kind of wait. So, um, yeah, someone just kept on calling me repeatedly. Um, you know, just I, I think with the express, uh, I, I, with the intention of annoying me personally because they got uh, me twice, and they're like, "Oh, this is the only person on the phone," so I'm going to harass him until I get my power back. <laughs> um, and I was, it's already been a bad week, so yeah, they just con- they call me at a really bad time. So I'm, uh, if I get fired, then it just means I'm going to have to focus on my writing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there you I'm go. Have to, I'm going to have to write like like 40 novels and yep. you know maybe get one of them published yes that which seems to be yeah that that's a good transition transition wow i can't i can't speak tonight or or i could just write but, about you know i could just write about <clears throat> um i don't know maybe uh, some sort of some sort of magical teenage werewolf um ooh, that hasn't and, been done yeah and then have it you know just you know that be the first thing that i've written and it just somehow catches on someone some somehow uh <laughs> You know, teenage girls with with you know no set no concept of what good literature is. Uh, well, no, I'm gonna stop right there. I'm I'm, I'm let's not, not gonna. Let's not make enemies. I'm not gonna make enemies. No, I, not, I especially not powerful rich ones. Exactly, they, because mostly it's not because you're mad. It's just because I'm jealous. I'm like, I'm there like, you go. Why yes. can't I get? It's kind of like when you're like, wait a minute. So, uh, uh, so okay, so. Uh, Kim Kardashian's famous for, for <laughs> for that for being hot. Oh, okay. Oh, and she. Oh, okay. She she was discovered. Okay, she had sex with a with a famous person. Wow, that must have been a really famous person to make her. It was famous. It was Ray J. Oh, I don't. Brandy's brother. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm just like, oh, okay. So she must have. She must do like a lot of you know. She she must be talented to making all that mm. money. Oh, she's. Oh, okay. Well. Let me change the channel and oh look, uh, this is MTV and well okay um oh okay uh so oh I, that's that's that Snooky lady that I keep hearing about yeah I heard she has a New York Times <laughs> bestseller Guillermo uh, what, what what the hell is a Snooky um she kind of looks I don't know she kind of reminds me of Snarf from the Thundercats oh nice nice um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm not gonna. I, yeah. Yes, but, but this before is, okay, this is me hating on everyone that I deem unworthy of, you know, vast amount of riches. Yes. So you so know, that's, before that's before the section that bef- we're, we're gonna have to make this a special part of yeah. uh, every podcast. Yeah. I was just gonna Fear say Mo before we on. go down that path. <laughs> you know, at one point there, I was gonna say, oh, we can transition into talking about how our writing week has been, but then no, you had to bring up Kim Kardashian's sex tape. But uh, anyway... Or the fact that Snooki's a <laughs> telling author. <laughs> so back back on track. I don't want to live in this world anymore. <laughs> Focus! Okay, Focus. sorry. Focus! <laughs> uh, so, you know, instead of asking you off the bat how your writing week has been, let me tell you about mine. Okay. I have gotten crap done. Uh, this, like, whole month... Pretty much. Wait, like in the good way? Like I got no, crap done. Or I've gotten like, do- I've gotten no crap done. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. I have okay. I think I have seasonal affective disorder. Oh, when you're but, just like yeah, reverse. Like first? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like I wake up every morning and I'm like, that damn sun is up again. It's like, why is it hot in here? Yeah, exactly. And I, I just I just all I want to do is sleep and you know, I, I put my pillows in the fridge now for like a few hours before I go to bed, and that seems to kind of help. But uh, yeah, it's it's like you know we, we live in Florida, which I don't know why I live in Florida, and I'm just really irritable all the time now, and I have no patience, and I uh, I just can't focus on anything. So I I've gotten no writing done. Hardly at all, except for the the little short story that I wrote. But that was like a couple of weeks ago, and I still haven't 
gotten an ending for it yet. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I'm still I was, working on that. I, I actually have it. I loaded it onto the uh, the Kindle, uh-huh. and uh, I was like, "All right, I'm going to read it." You know, and and all of a sudden, it's like, "Hey, great! I have a 16 hour shift that I didn't know I was going to have today." Uh, but instead of doing something constructive like reading or or actually writing myself, I, I actually tried writing. Managed to get about a thousand words done, and I was like, Ugh, "Let me." It's just and my brain isn't working today just because I'm mm-hmm. mad because I have to work this crazy shift. Yeah. Uh, so I'd, I'll just watch, you know, Battle Royale on, you know, <laughs> like, because what what better way to vent, like, your, like, your hatred of the world than by watching, you know, Japanese teenagers uh, brutally murder each other for, yeah. uh, for reasons that I, I, that were probably explained, but I was probably getting coffee at the time because yeah. right? I was doing that a lot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, lots of coffee. E- even uh, even coffee. with the heat and everything, still well, lots of coffee. Yeah. Well, they they keep it they keep it nice and cool in there every now and then. Oh, uh, good, good. That was luckily that was one of the nights that everyone was complaining that it was cold, and I'm like, what are you talking about? It's I have my fan on, and I'm still, and I'm comfortable, but I'm not yeah. cold. Yeah, so I guess I guess this whole week, for like both of us, has been kind of a bust. Yeah, just it's well, it's it's you know been a bad week when it comes to writing, for, mostly for, because for it's us, a bad yeah. week because yeah, it's just it's just been a bad week altogether. Yeah, just it just like work wise, and I'm like, okay, it's like I managed to you know get everything together, and I managed to pay all my bills up to date, so everything's oh, up yeah, to date. The, but yeah. right now, that means that I'm completely broke until I get paid again. I hope nothing else goes wrong, and then the car <laughs> dies on me. Uh, so I'm just like, oh, that's. That's that's just peachy. Wow. That's, so that's so great. so um so we, please someone buy my book or so do we have do me. we have anything positive? You know, okay, we, we did we got a lot of really good information from Michael J Sullivan. I think oh, this, yeah. this month, good. It was good it was a really good month for that, <laughs> and we we actually have a lot of uh, we we've done a few other interviews that are kind of backlogged for the coming months, and you know that that was the whole reason I did I, I wanted to start doing this show. Because, you know, when I'm when I'm having like I don't know like a little bit of writer's block or I, I just am not motivated or anything, I usually call you, and after we talk a, a good like twenty thirty minutes or so, and we're like brainstorming ideas and we're talking shop, then I feel energized and I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to write. Let's get this done, you know. So I thought, like, how great would that be if you and I were talking plus somebody who knows what they're actually talking about. So, yeah, yeah. Th- and that's <laughs> happened. Like, I, I, I listen to the episodes again, you know, when, you know, just to make sure everything's cool and to, to you know, just hear the, the advice again. And uh, I, I really liked, um, my, my favorite thing was when we were talking about exposition, which is a, a horrible topic to talk about because nobody wants to do it <laughs> or nobody should do it. And, uh, yeah, the best thing was working that exposition into just building your characters and stuff, so... Yeah, go back and listen to those episodes. They were great. And uh, um, I guess we can say now we have uh, next week, um, next, I think, Thursday or Friday afternoon, uh, we'll have our first interview up with author Rachel Aaron, who is just um, uh, coming out with a a new book pretty soon. I think it's her fourth book, fifth if you count a novella, uh, in the Legend of Eli Monpress series. Uh, so you can pick that up pretty soon and uh, listen to the interview and you'll know everything uh, about that. And then uh, the next three weeks after that, we'll be talking with her uh, about shop. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. I- I'm looking forward to it. I- I- I'm looking forward to getting re-energized again and getting excited about writing again. So that's going to be my my goal for this week because um, I'm picking up some extra hours at work too where I'll be alone Oh, okay. It's like I'm just gonna force myself to write, whether it's and, and not not outlining either, because I've been doing an awful lot of that, and I get this thing where I'm like, oh well, I've already outlined these chapters, so I'm not gonna write them. Yeah, you know, no, so it's uh, yeah, I, I'm but just gonna, you have to like yeah, you just have to like jump into it. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna force myself to take what I've already outlined and just get in there and do it. So because otherwise, you're I'm like you're like, hey, I have like like 14 different outlines for 14 yeah. different novels, yeah. and it's like, wait a minute, but you know they that's not what what that doesn't sells count. at borders doesn't anymore. 
Yeah, it doesn't count. So I don't, I don't think anything sells it. Really. So so I'm gonna I'm gonna take this week and Jeez. I'm just going to kick the universe in the ass. Oh okay. Yeah, well, that's a that's a good attitude. That that's what I'm doing this week. So, what what's your goal going to be for the week? And then and then we'll close it out. My goal is to uh, stay sane enough to avoid some sort of um, uh, some sort of rampage. Okay. Where I, you know, I just you you get a phone call from me, and they're like, "Oh, well, he went, you know, he lost his mind, and he and went he tried to, to eat a, somebody's uh, face off while oh no, being no, completely I, naked." Yeah. Well, I, I was gonna say he, you know, pooped in the dairy section of a okay. supermarket, but <laughs> I guess if we're going zombie, yeah, yeah, yeah I guess I could. No, that's that's horrible. There, there's, yeah. I, I don't think, uh, like, there, there's no drugs that would that that I would take that would make me do that except for maybe caffeine maybe yeah yeah caffeine you know maybe that, so. eventually i'll get some sort of weird caffeine uh psychosis yeah <laughs> that, where, that happens that happens i'm just like yeah careful. exactly when you just don't sleep for a few days and you have coffee and like after a while they're like Guillermo, are you okay you're you're uh you're sweating an awful lot and you keep telling people that you're the lizard king <laughs> You're vibrating. Is that, <laughs> is that a normal <laughs> thing blah, 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 that you do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So like you do realize that we have to, uh, to understand you. We have to, you know, <laughs> put everything into slow motion to understand anything that you're saying. Just throwing that out there, Guillermo. We should yeah. Just probably calm, subject. Calm, calm down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. All no, right. So that, right. so, that, so that was our episode 10. We've made it 10 episodes. I'm very proud of us. Actually, technically, it's 11 because our first episode, I called it episode zero. Oh, okay. Um, but it's but we didn't book. really do anything instructive. Yeah, yeah. So we're just uh, like, this, this, this is this us. Whole, this whole episode was a, a big waste of time. So, <laughs> so uh, everybody, uh, don't forget, you can follow us on Twitter at FMW Podcast. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Ben underscore J underscore L. Guillermo, what's your Twitter? Uh, G Velez 80. Good, good. And uh, also fmwpodcast.com. Uh, and please, please leave us some feedback on iTunes. Uh, give us some stars. Uh, tell everybody, tell the whole world what you think of our show. Uh, unless you don't like it, in, in which case, shut up. Yeah, no, so. No. Give and you can also leave comments on our website too, so do that. Yeah, it's like don't be a dick and give us like bad review. Well, if you if you feel if it moves your heart that you, you feel the show is bad enough to warrant a negative review, yeah, by all then means, then by all it. means, yeah, yeah. But, uh, otherwise, you know, constructive uh, compliments. Or yes, constructive well. compliments. Yes. <laughs> uh, so on that note, we'll see you guys. Well, we'll talk to you guys next week when we interview Rachel Aaron. Uh, until then, I am Benjamin J. Love. And I am Guillermo. I'm going to read The Killing Joke again because I don't feel nihilistic enough just yet. Uh, Velez? Right. The Killing Joke, that was the Alan Moore one, right? Yeah, and everything that Alan Moore writes is really nihilistic. That's why I love him. What was that thing you sent me? Hang on. Uh, Alan Moore. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, Alan Moore. And the beard will look up and whisper, whisper shave us. And he'll look down and whisper, "No, that's that's my wallpaper." Yeah, that he's he's a he is a he's a he, he, he is a genius of nihilism. Like I'm 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 only afraid that he wouldn't like me back. Oh, I think he would.